Hello and welcome back to another episode of 4 Cameras Vintage Camera Tutorials. Today we're going to be talking about one of the more modern vintage Polaroid cameras and one of their last before they filed for bankruptcy and then had their entire revival very recently. And this one is called the Polaroid One or um, the One. And this camera is very, very easy to use. It's simple um, and it's compact. And we often sell these in our shop. So this one uses 600 black and white or color film, Polaroid film, right? And uh, it's just fixed focus. So as you can see, the focus range is from three feet to infinity. So you can't do any close-ups with it. Um, it has a built-in flash. It has a sort of rounded look to it, which a lot of people like this sort of modern look. It usually has a cord that you could Right, so, so you can actually push down and it, it folds in quite nicely there and it's easy to put in a backpack or on the go. Um, and it has a cord so you could put your hand in here and hold the camera or you could, you know, kind of just hold it around your wrist over here. Um, so we're going to talk about how to use this very easy to use Polaroid camera and, um, you know, the different features. So let's do that. How do we open up this camera? There's a button. On the back of the camera, it says open and close. Well, makes sense. Press the open button and it will pop out. So I'm going to do that right now. And you'll notice the viewfinder comes up, the shutter button comes up, the light that tells you whether or not the camera is ready to take a photo comes up, and the lens is hidden inside and it pops up. Everything nice and neat pops out from the inside of this sort of clamshell looking design. Now we need to put our 600 Polaroid film inside. It's a has the battery inside the film. You never have to buy a battery because they're in the film. But then again, the camera will not have a battery itself unless you buy the film. So how do we do that? Okay, well, if we look at the top of this camera, we'll notice there's a film eject button. So we have to press that down once the, once the camera's open and the door will pop out. And inside this door, we're gonna put our film cartridge in here without touching the top of the film, gently push it all the way in and then pop this door closed. And when that happens, a dark slide will pop out um, and you could throw that away or hold it, right? You don't need it. Um, and then you'll hear sort of like a whirring sounds, right? The, the motors are gonna be pushing that out. And then you're going to be seeing this light here start to blink. And when it's fully green and solid, you're ready to go. Also, it tells you how many photos are left. The original Polaroid film had 10 photos. Now it's only eight because they're thicker, so they don't fit as many inside the film anymore, but still awesome. Um, so your countdown till two, right, will be how many photos you have left. The, this is to turn the flash on and off, right? There's a little LCD and it will show you. This is to set this camera up on the tripod, right? You see there's a tripod mount and you can kind of press this button in for times, right? You wanna get into a photo with a bunch of friends. You press that button in, you press the shutter, right? To take a photo generally, but also to press the shutter and have that one on and it will like count down, right? And there'll be a light on the front over here that kind of blinks and lets you know when it's gonna take a photo. Um, so that's kind of a traditional feature. It's fully automatic, right? We don't wanna ever cover any of the stuff up here, especially our light meter. Okay, and um, it will take pretty much do everything for you. So it's very, very easy to use camera and it uses the faster 600 uh, film. So it's good for inside and outside, but I'm always a lover of outdoor photos because the natural light really helps. And Polaroid film loves a lot of light. Um, it'll also detect when it needs to use the flash, which is almost always. And so let's just say you wanna take a photo. You look through the viewfinder. You're not gonna see through the lens. You're gonna see through over here, but still okay, right? It's not a SX70 SLR. It's just kind of a viewfinder, plastic viewfinder. You look through it, you frame it, then you hold the camera steady and you hold the button down. You don't just go like, chick, click, oh, let's see. You don't just, you wanna keep this open by the way. You don't just push the button a little bit and that's it. You wanna hold it until the film ejects and once it ejects, it will pop out. Do not put your finger in front of this. That will mess up your photo. You wanna make sure that the film comes fully out. Once it does, 
you want to keep that film out of light for at least 10 to 15 minutes and you want to make sure you don't shake it or do anything to the photo just let it sit maybe on upside down on a table or in your pocket and you can see one of our other tutorials we talk about how to treat the film and also the sort of temperatures that you're allowed to treat the film or take photos with and um, the ideal conditions you can take a look at our other video for that but um, just don't shake your photo, please. That's complete falsehood. That's a lie and you might mess up your photo and then you're gonna be very upset. So other than that, um, there's not much there is to it. You don't wanna take, um, you don't wanna overuse the battery, right? Let's just say you leave this open for a long time, it's on, then the battery drains up. Your you have a really hard time because you can't use your film anymore and then you have to go and take the film out manually and that's a whole problem. We don't want that. So you're gonna close your camera, right, by pressing the close button and then push the top down and that turns the camera off, not using the battery. Still, you still wanna use your film within one month period because the film um, could get messed up due to the temperature, the humidity, so on and so forth. And also over a long period of time, the battery will drain. Um, again, you never have to buy a battery because the film has the battery inside of it. You wanna buy 600 Polaroid film. Um, and other than that, this is a very, very easy to use camera and it's usually in our shop and I highly recommend it. It's a fun 2000s camera. Now, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also check out our Instagram at Ford Cameras, our Twitter at Ford Cameras, our Facebook Ford Cameras, and also our Etsy shop where we sell these sorts of cameras forward cameras on Etsy. Uh, stay tuned and please subscribe. Take care. Bye-bye.